Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. So let's get right into it. Today we're gonna to be sharing with you guys what we eat on a budget. We're gonna share three quick and easy vegan meals that you guys are gonna love. They're flavor packed and they're easy on the wallet. So Aaron and I haven't always shopped on a budget. You guys have seen our vegan food haul videos and you're probably like, oh my gosh, how much money do they spend? <laughs> well, as most of you know, we just got back from Costa Rica. We lived the Pura Vida lifestyle. Grow your own food, take life as it comes, living simply, cheaply. It inspired us to do this video and show you guys how you can actually eat a vegan diet on a budget. Right, so when we were in Costa Rica, there was no Whole Foods or Costco. <laughs> Literally, we lived off of the land. Yep. We ate a lot more simplistic. Our recipes required a lot less ingredients, but we felt great. Set aside the superfoods, set aside all the nuts and the seeds and some of these things that are number one, hard to find. And if you can't find them, they can be very expensive. So we're gonna get down to the basics with some beans and grains. Don't be afraid of frozen foods. Don't be afraid of canned foods. These things last a long time. They're easy to find and they're super affordable. Right, so before we jump right into the actual recipes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we're gonna share with you guys our quick top three tips for saving money at the grocery store. Yes. Number one would be to buy in bulk. You can see here for our recipe number one, we have our rolled oats in this gigantic ball <laughs> jar. This is how we shop when we can in the bulk section you're gonna get a reduced price for buying in volume. We're talking a few dollars here. Same thing for beans and rice and all of your grains. Buying in bulk saves so much money. Number two, don't be afraid to use canned and or frozen fruits and veggies. So while dry grains and beans are going to be very inexpensive. They're also very time consuming and not all of us are willing to take the plunge into soaking and sprouting. <laughs> right, so the idea behind soaking and sprouting is to rid those beans and grains of those anti-nutrients. However, I find myself very simply eating more canned beans and grains because they're quick and they're simple, they're easy, they last a long time. You can bring them with you, it just makes it easy. So not only are they easier to make, they're also budget friendly, yes. so win-win with the canned. Yep. And again, don't be afraid to use frozen. A lot of people wonder about the nutritional value of frozen fruits and veggies. Actually, studies have shown that frozen fruits and vegetables are picked exactly when they're ripe at yep. the optimal time instead of being picked early like much of our fresh produce is at the grocery stores. So picked when ripe, locked in, all that nutrition right in the freezer, so don't be afraid to use frozen. Tip number three when you're on a budget is to eat seasonally and eat simply. So what I mean by eating seasonally is whatever fruits, whatever vegetables are grown in your area are probably in season. They're going to be much less expensive at the grocery store and or at your local farmer's market. Right, and eating seasonally can also mean you grow your own garden. So Erin and I have recently started in the last couple years growing our own garden and it has not only saved money, it's fun, the nutrient density seems better, you have full control of your food and it basically costs you nothing. Right, not to mention when we were in Costa Rica, literally everything was grown yep. right there. We could walk right out the door and pick fruit off the trees, go down to the greenhouse, pick kale and cabbage for days. It was amazing yes. at no expense. No expense, it literally cost us nothing except for the cost of seeds, a little bit of time and labor, but hey, we've all got some time <laughs> and it turns into a labor of love. If you guys like these recipe videos, these what I eat in a day videos, give this video a thumbs up, <laughs> share it with friends, subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, click the bell to stay notified, follow Aaron and I at Aaron Stanzik, at DB Stanzik, and leave us some love in the comments below. <laughs> Let's get going.
So many of you guys know, and you're probably wondering, don't you guys eat raw till four? And yes, we do on most days. We typically like to eat lots of raw foods, but when you're on a budget, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck, eating more cooked foods, healthy whole grains, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with these because they're high in fiber and they're high in protein. They're gonna keep you fuller longer and make you feel fantastic. So for breakfast, recipe number one, we're gonna be making a classic rolled oats recipe and we're going to be using rolled oats, banana, apple, cinnamon, and a little bit of liquid. Okay, so you guys, these oats are my specialty. I've been making these for breakfast for years. Very simply, you add your one cup of oats to your pan, and then follow it up with two cups of water. Add your two cups of water to your one cups of grains or your rolled oats in this case. Put them on medium heat. I'm notorious for overflowing my oats, so make sure you reduce the heat and keep stirring. They only take a few minutes, so keep an eye on them. When they're fluffy, they're good to go. Perfect example of what not to do. I just did what I said not to, and that was overflow my oats. Now I've got a huge mess to clean up. Keep an eye on your oats at all times. They cook up super quick. Okay, so to sweeten our oats, I'm going to simply mash a banana. You can use maple syrup, you can use agave nectar, but we like to stick to whole foods whenever possible. And banana mashed up in these oats is gonna be the perfect amount of sweet. Not to mention, bananas are ridiculously cheap and super easy to find. Okay, for a little added flavor and nutrition, we're simply gonna dice up an apple to add to our oats. Now that our oats are cooked and overflowed, they are not burned, we are going to add our mashed up banana and some of our apples. We are also gonna stir in a little bit of cinnamon. If you want a crunchy apple, add them after they're cooked, or if you want them nice and sweet and melted up, you're gonna need to add these apples in while the oats are still cooking. So we are gonna top our oats, which by the way are super tasty and super sweet. I've literally been making this for breakfast since college. We're gonna just add a few more apples on top. For the gram, Aaron of course has to get some pictures. Add a couple dashes of cinnamon and walnuts. Walnuts may not be super budget friendly, but we all need nuts, they're healthy fats, and you can buy them in bulk just like everything else. So we are gonna add a few walnuts for those healthy omegas and that tasty flavor. What you doing? <laughs> All right, moving on to lunchtime, we are going to be making a Chipotle inspired burrito bowl. So, again, with our bulk produce, we've got our white rice in our mason jar. We're going to use one cup of white rice with two cups of water, get that boiling. And then our canned goods, we've got a can of black beans we are going to drain and rinse. And then we've got cherry tomatoes frozen corn, which usually what we do for this is put it in the strainer and run it under warm water until it's thawed out. Even on a budget, it's going to be super important to make sure that you're getting in your greens. So we're going with romaine. It's super crunchy, has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Very easy and palatable for almost anyone and everyone. Seasonings and spices and even salts and peppers, these are going to be fantastic ways to make your budget-friendly meals taste amazing. So build up your spice cabinet. It may be a little costly up front, but they last forever. And right here, I've got cumin and cayenne, salt and pepper, and it's all you need to make this Mexican-inspired dish have the flair that it needs. And of course, we're going to top it with a squeeze of lime. So now we are gonna make our rice. We are gonna add just over two cups of water. Sometimes rice soaks up a little bit more. So one cup of rice and just over two cups of water to cook this rice up. So we're gonna take our salt and pepper and our spices and give our beans a little flair. A few dashes of cumin will help to give your beans a nice Mexican flavor. And then kick up the heat with cayenne to your liking. Lastly, I'm going to add a squeeze of lime. That's good. That's good, cause I'm good. Good evening. I'm good, I'm good. That, that, that's, that, that's good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
So anytime you get avocado or guacamole added to anything, anywhere, don't they tell you that it's going to cost you extra? <laughs> if you're with me, then you don't care. So avocado is one splurge that we always make because it's a lot of bang for your buck calorie wise. These healthy fats are going to help keep you satiated and they make your dishes a lot more flavorful and savory. Breakfast and lunch down, dinner is on its way, and I'm feeling a little hungry. I often snack between meals. There are a handful of healthy options that I always have in the refrigerator or in the pantry. If you guys are interested in knowing more about our healthy, cheap, quick and simple vegan snack ideas, then pop some comments below and let us know if that's a video you want us to make. So let's get cooking for dinner. Oh, and you went through everything, didn't you? Somebody went through all of their clothes, so before dinner gets cooked, it's time to change the baby. Bob, what'd you do? <laughs> Did you pee your pants? Well, somebody got a diaper change and an entire outfit change. <laughs> He's ready for dinner, so are we. So we're going to be making an Indian-inspired red lentil dish, again using our bulk grains, canned goods, and our spices. For this recipe, you will need a handful of yellow potatoes, salt and pepper, and curry powder. <laughs> Did somebody just toot? Boy. <laughs> Are you a happy baby? Hi. Singer, say hi. Salt and pepper and curry powder. Frozen thawed peas, about one cup. One cup of red lentils one can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, and a can of tomato puree. We will not be using all of this. You will need about one cup. Dinner's grain is going to be red lentils. So just like the rice, we're gonna rinse it. Similar to the rice, we're gonna cook our red lentils, one cup of grains to two cups water. Guys, now we're gonna chop our potatoes and throw them in the instant pot. These go in for nine minutes on medium pressure. Otherwise, you can boil them in a pot for probably about 10 minutes, give or take. Just poke them with a fork and feel around. As soon as they're done, eat them up. So we're gonna take and just measure out one cup of our tomato puree. This will be added directly to our cooked red lentils and then heated on a super low simmer to create a sort of curry type of sauce. We're going to add our chickpeas into our lentil and tomato sauce along with our green peas. You can add salt and pepper to taste along with your curry powder. I'm going to add somewhere between a teaspoon and tablespoon of curry powder. Our budget-friendly Indian-inspired dinner is complete. We've got ourselves a red lentil curry and I'm going to plate this and then add some potatoes to go alongside it. So you guys were probably like, whoa, slow down girl, that's a lot of food. <laughs> and it is, but you gotta do what you gotta do for the gram. That being said, I will have a hefty portion of this. It's amazing, it's cheap, it's easy, and it's gonna taste delish. Mm. All right, you guys, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner are complete. Again, this is what we would eat on a budget or what we are eating on a budget. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed these high protein, inexpensive, super simple vegan recipes. It's a full day of eating for anybody on a super tight budget. We've enjoyed it, like no joke. We've been eating it all day now <laughs> and we hope you guys enjoy it too. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, it really helps our channel out. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to make sure your notifications are turned on. We would love to have you guys join the Eat Move Rest fam. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below and let us know about those healthy vegan snack ideas. If you guys wanna see that video, let us know. And as always, Eat Move Rest, your best.